Here's another example. We have Jessica leaves her school and rides her bike three miles south, then turns and rides another five miles east. How far away is Jessica from her school? Let's begin by making a dot just for the school. And then from that school, she is going south. So if you think about your directions here, north, south, west, and east. Starting at the school, she is going south three miles. And then she's going to turn and ride another five miles east. So east would be this way, five miles. We want to know how far is she from her school. So this is like where she ends. How far away? What's the shortest path back to her school? Notice that that makes a right triangle. And the missing side, how far she is away from the school, is the C. The other two sides are A and B. So going to our Pythagorean theorem, we have 3 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. So 9 plus 25 equals C squared. Add that up, we've got 31. And then if we take a square root of 31, that is going to be 5.5677, etc. right? We want to round to the tenths place, so I'm going to look at what's in the second place at a six. Six rounds up, so that 5.5 .5 is going to change to 5.6. So she is about 5.6 miles from her school. When you're typing this into Schoology, you just need to type out the equation part. Um, the C equals the square root of 31 part. And your final answer in the answer box of 5.6 miles. You also should add in the numbers to the picture that's provided in the INB. So the 3, the 5, and the C. Here is one final example. This time you're walking along the outer edge of a rectangular field that is 100 meters long and 60 meters wide. How much shorter would your walk be if you cut across the, di the field diagonally instead of walking along the two sides? Let's go ahead and begin by drawing a picture. I have a rectangular field. It is 100 meters long and 60 meters wide. And it tells us right here that you are going to walk along the outer edge. So you're going to walk along the 100 to the 60. So your total distance walking along the edges is going to be 100 plus 60, which is 160 meters. We're wondering though, how much shorter would it be if you wanna start here and end there? What if you just cut diagonally across the field? Well, that makes a right triangle because a rectangle has four right angles. And now our missing side, the diagonal is C. So we can do the Pythagorean theorem and do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 60 squared plus 100 squared equals c squared. 60 squared is 3,600. 100 squared is 10,000. Add those together. And we have 13,600 equals C squared. So then I'm just going to put that into my calculator, do the square root. And it gives me 116.619, etc. right? We just want to round that to the tenths place, so it would be 116.6. That is not my answer this time, though. The question doesn't ask me how long would it be if I walked diagonally across the field. It asks us how much shorter would your walk be if you cut across the diagonal instead. 
So we have to take the distance of walking along the edges, which was 160, subtract that 116.6, and putting that into a calculator, we have 43.4 meters shorter. And that's the final answer that you need to type in the answer box. For how much shorter, you can show this calculation right here, what two numbers you're subtracting. And then in the answer box, you'll type out that answer of 43.4 meters shorter. So everything that I currently have boxed in yellow is what you're going to type into the boxes in your interactive notebook. And this concludes Lesson 7.1 Day 2 on the Pythagorean Theorem applications. Thanks for watching and good luck as you try some problems on your own. Bye!